As a designer and TV host for the last 18 years, I've helped people achieve the home of their dreams. With so many of us rethinking how we live right now, I wanted to help bring real life solutions to people who are ready to transform their homes with simple, easy to achieve solutions. This is In The Room with John Giddings. Today we're designing for Rachel in Berkeley, California. She's got a family room that needs some help. Hi, my name is Rachel. We are standing here in my family room. It's a decent sized room, but it is really hard to place furniture. We have the steps going from the kitchen leading to our outside, a door to a bathroom that's making furniture placement hard. And basically right now we have a TV and a couch and the distance there is too far to be a good TV room. So I am open to multiple layouts. I I would love to have a great comfortable TV room would love to have like maybe some added storage love to ideally have space for a piano if we can fit it in here would love some great ideas thank you so this room has some strengths and weaknesses the strengths are it's large and it has lots of light its weakness its main weakness is that there's so much circulation going through this room that it's hard to place furniture so with all these doors and walkways through it you have to place furniture in the leftover spaces between the zones of circulation and finally rachel's big issue here is that the television is located too far from the sofas one of the main functions of this room has to be that it's a tv watching room and for that the television either has to get a lot bigger or it has to get closer to the seating areas. So the first step always is the plan. And I came up with four of them. One of them is not great, but these three intrigue me and I think they're gonna interest Rachel as well. So let's start with the first plan, which I'm gonna call the storage plan. The storage plan takes storage first and foremost into consideration. Rachel says she wants more storage and this plan would propose it go floor to ceiling on the wall with the bathroom door. Now we get to move one sofa here and one over here and then a huge television off to that wall. So this works well. The way it doesn't work well is by how far it positions the couch from the television and the fact that one of the couches is completely turned away from the television. So in terms of a TV watching room, perhaps this is not the, the solution. The second plan I'm calling the spacious plan or the symmetric plan because we're gonna take furniture and push them into the corner symmetrically on either side of the room. But if we need to make this both spacious and a TV viewing friendly room, the only real option is to put the TV up here. What I like about the spacious room is that it takes advantage of the whole room, but again, we need to make this not only TV viewing friendly, but there's no storage in a room like this. Third, this is what we're calling the snuggly plan. What we're gonna do with the snuggly plan is shrink the scale of the room a little bit. We've got this bathroom over on this side. This circulation route is super important. And because of that, we're gonna carve it out and say this is its own space all the way over there. And we're gonna think about this room as a smaller square. So here's what that would look like as a room design. We put one chaised sectional here and another chaised sectional here. We put the TV here. The two features that make the snuggly room work so well is that the scale of the room having been shrunk allows both of these sofas to have a much more intimate relationship with this television, which is crucial for a TV watching room. And by putting the television on a full motion reticulating arm, you can actually bring it out and angle the frame of the television just enough so that everybody's got a really great angle. One last detail about the cozy plan. Because this pathway has been left entirely alone, we can actually fit the piano there. But I think this works really well because it takes advantage of such a large room by apportioning different functions to different areas of circulation. And it brings down the scale of how close people are sitting next to one another to the area right in front of the television, which also articulates and angles towards them. What I love about this plan is I'm taking a cue from the storage room because Rachel needed storage. So that floor to ceiling bookcase, I'm bringing it back along the wall to the bathroom. That way, we're not taking too much space from the room, but we're giving all of that space all the way up to the ceiling for storage. I am positioning 
two circular coffee tables here. Why? Obviously because we've made the room smaller and snugglier, and that means that the coffee tables have to not only do their function, which is crucial, but kind of keep out of people's way. So I'm thinking something light, something easy to move around. Uh, two circular coffee tables makes a lot of sense because you can move them both into the same side of the room. They're set at different heights, so they kind of nest. These are two that I got from Joss and Maine. They're called the Alford coffee table. They're gorgeous. They're solid walnut. They have a kind of brown hued glass on top. Very classy, and I think it would go well in this Berkeley neighborhood. I want to talk about the sofas. The first step can be just to use the sofas you've already got lying around, but crucially, these sofas have to be maximally fitted into this room. They can't be even a little too small because you're not taking advantage of this room as well as you should. What I've done here is I found as big a sofa as I could find that would fit, that creates this cozy, snuggly living room vibe that nevertheless works with the doorway openings and with the staircase coming down from the kitchen. The television under the little lip of the countertop. This is obviously going to be a point of contention for people watching this right now. Who would put a TV there? Well, I would, ladies and gentlemen. And the reason for it is because with our full motion reticulated television stand, in those moments where you absolutely have to have a television that's a little higher up, you can even make that happen. But for the most part, there's plenty of room on that wall for a television to be set at eye level when you're seated down on the sofa. I know this because there's two steps up to the kitchen. If those steps up hadn't been there, this would not have been possible. But because we're actually building in an additional 14 inches of height before countertop height, we can make that math work for us and it's 36 inches up to the countertop plus 14 inches, that's 50 inches of space. That's plenty of room for a television right there. And here's the room. And this really shows how the circulation of the room is meant to work. Coming from the kitchen, two steps down, and you've got kind of a meandering path that recenters you to the center of the double doors that lead out to the patio. I love that detail. This cyclical symmetry that we created with the two right shazed sectionals brings the circulation down from the kitchen, reorients it to the center, and pushes it back out again. So, a nice clean detail. The other thing I love about the circulation plan is that you have to walk past the sofa, sort of squeeze past it, and then all the way back through the floor to ceiling bookcase to the bathroom door. I hope I answered all your questions, Rachel. This was really a hard one for me because I had to really push all of those different layouts to their logical conclusions and decide that this is probably the one that's gonna work best for you. And there it is. A room that works really well with circulation, allows for lots of seating, a TV viewing room, plenty of storage, floor to ceiling, and it makes the bathroom entrance secondary in importance, putting primary importance on this incredible art wall that you'll have behind the piano for a salon that we've created just for you. If you've got a home makeover project you need help with or a room you'd like to reimagine, drop us a DM at shelter on Instagram and tell us your story. And don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube so you don't miss a new episode.